Hi guys, my name is Bobby, and welcome back. And today I'm going to be doing my review of Richard Lehman's Beware. Beware is the third, fourth, 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 third, can't count today. I think it's the third one I've read. Whatever, it's the next one in my, it's the third. It's the next one in my read along for Richard Lehman series. And oh, we, we were so good. The cellar was terrible. The Woods Are Dark were not that bad. Like, I, it was fun. It was like a B-movie. This one. Two stars. Um, I don't even know how to describe this book. I didn't really like it. I don't want anybody to be thwarted from reading it. But this book is generally described as Richard Lehman tried to throw everything but the kitchen sink into a book and it just kind of went bleh, 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 And this is what we get. So Beware tells a story of... Like, I don't even know where to begin. Do we begin with the crazy invisible guy that's killing people or the bizarro weirdo cult that's also involved? I mean, I, I, I don't even know where to start. So this book starts out where, like, there's all these murders happening and nobody really knows why. And, like, I don't even know how to describe this book. Like, it's, it was just, it was not, it was not for me. It, so all these murders start happening and he like this girl ends up getting raped and then she uh, by the this murderer person and then escapes and then you come to find out the the murderer is actually invisible like like you can't see him invisible and so she's running and you know he tries to find her and she's also trying to you know get away from him at the same time and then you've got this really weird bizarro cult that is also around and the reason he's invisible is because of something they did and this cult leader is a female and she does all these crazy weird things and bright brings people in and, I, and there's this private detective that's helping her it's just it's really weird it wasn't I, it just wasn't good like this review is going to be really short like I really don't have much to say about it it was just so bizarre and not in a good way it was like it, like I said he tried to shove way too many things into it and it just didn't work. Like, and this is one of his, like, lowest rated of his books. Like, it was kind of like one of those one-offs where he's just like, I'm going to do something even more weird than normal. And we're still going to have the beat-up heroine and the rapiness and, you know, the mass murder and gore. But we're going to throw a weirdo cult. Like, honestly, if they got rid of the invisible dude and just focused on the cult, I think it would have been way more interesting, in my opinion. But this was definitely two stars. Like, I had to push myself through it. And at that, I mean, at the end, I was just skimming. Like, it was just not, no. Like, I can't wait to get into him with his more 90s stuff. Because when we get into his 90s stuff, I know it's going to be better. Because um, the ones that I remember reading, like, I enjoyed a lot more. And the story was more thought out. You could tell he still hadn't gotten his sea legs. And it's not written like his other books are. But that's really all I'm going to say about it. Like, I'm sorry, this is kind of lame. It's not as in-depth as my other two. But I just, I just couldn't with this one. Just don't read it. Just skip it. Like, beware isn't that great. I did, however, find out, like, side note, since one of my subscribers had been commenting on one of my other Richard Lehman videos that about Jack Ketchum and how he is kind of in the same boat, Kindle Unlimited has now put almost all of his works for free on Kindle Unlimited, and I've downloaded two. The Girl Next Door I've already read, but I want to reread it because I know the crime that it was based on. And from what I understand from Jack Ketchum, he, um, all of his horror stories tend to be ba loosely based on real events. So I'm actually really excited to like get, I, I took two of them out, so I'm excited to read those. And I'm so happy they're available because I can't get them in my library and they're very hard to find to buy as well. But yeah, guys, I'm sorry. That's it. Um, here, let me look really quick and I'll let you know what the next book on our list is. So let's see see after beware all it's all hallows eve and that was published in 1986 can't find that one so the next one is the beast house in 1986 and that's beast house book two so that's the same world environment that the cellar took place in fingers crossed it's not a complete shit show like the cellar um we'll see but that's the next one on the list so I'll be reading that one hopefully in February. Sorry, again, sorry that this review is not really that good or as extensive as the other ones. Like, I really didn't like it. I was really confused and bored throughout most of the book, and I spent most of it skimming on, if I, I'm to be completely honest, I spent most of it skimming because I just, I could not get into it like I could as other ones. Even The Cellar, which I hated, I was able to finish that one no problem and was able to semi get into it even though it was really trashy. This one was just, it was just too much. 
But that's it, guys. I'm really sorry this is a really short one, but I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.